Honestly, this drug, one of the side effects is low-key anorexia. Hello everyone, I'm your glamorous doctor, your glam RX doctor, yes, doctor of pharmacy, and I'm here to talk about weight loss medications. You heard me right, weight loss medications. And we're not talking about me that's going to have your heart going like this. Uh-uh, 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 not that, <laughs> okay? So if you want to lose weight or you know someone who needs to lose weight, I mean, we all know someone who needs to lose weight, okay? But if you <laughs> are in that category, just go ahead and subscribe to my channel or follow me on instagram you know what what am i not saying or for do both you can follow me at glam rx doctor on instagram and just go ahead and hit that subscribe button <laughs> okay great so now that you followed me on instagram and you've subscribed to my channel let's get into weight loss medications we're not talking about fentramine, the one that has your heart going like this. They talk about it's an appetite suppressant, allegedly, right? I mean, you know, mechanistically, it is supposed to suppress your appetite, but the side effects are, you know, it's not, to me, it's not worth it at least. <laughs> no, we're talking about GLP-1 agonists, okay? GLP-1 agonists are injectable medications. They were originally formulated for diabetes, and one of the side effects that they saw in clinical trials was weight loss. So studies have been done just for weight loss, and now there are some medications on the market that are marketed towards it. So let's take Ozempic and Wegovy, for example. Ozempic is for diabetes, Wegovy is for weight loss. Same drug, same exact drug, but the doses are different. Um, a particular drug that I want to talk about today is called Manjaro, but you know, we'll get into that after. <laughs> okay, so back to GLP-1 agonists. GLP-1 agonists, they work by um, making you feel full. So it's a hormone. You're going to inject the drug into your body and it's a hormone. And what the hormone does is it delays gastric emptying. And when it delays the gastric emptying, the food stays in your stomach longer and then you feel full, full longer. Also, it creates a hormone, like it creates a signal to the brain that, you know, tells you that you're full. So essentially, you're going to be full around the clock. Now, if you, some people eat when they're not hungry, let's talk about that. <laughs> but essentially, I mean, if you're able to control yourself and you're never hungry, let's talk about all this weight loss that's going to occur, okay? Now, it also in um, it also increases insulin secretion, right? We talked about that it's a diabetes medication, so it makes sense that it increases insulin secretion. So it does both. Now, um, Manjaro, which is a newer drug. Uh, in the class, it's pretty similar, but it's a dual agonist. It's a GLP and GIP agonist. It pretty much does the same thing, but the GIP helps the GLP along the way. So there's going to be more weight loss with Manjaro than Ozempic based off of clinical trials. So let's talk about side effects. So as we know that this drug does work in the G in the GI system, right? So if you think about it, if it works there, your side effects are going to be there. So it can be nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, etc. Um, not everybody who takes the drug has it, but of course, you know, it occurs and the higher dose that you are on, the more likely that you're going to experience those side effects. Okay, so let's let's just let's get into it, okay? Because the backstory was just, you know, so you can know about the drugs, but let's talk about Manjaro, okay? Manjaro is the is the big kid on the block, okay? So I'm gonna pull up some stats for you about Manjaro. Okay, so I'm currently looking at the clinical trial. I pulled it up because you know we talk about data over here, okay? We're gonna talk about what was seen in clinical 
clinical trial so you can kind of know what to expect okay so it's is it a magical drug it kind of <laughs> okay it's not magical but come on now let's 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 get into it okay so manjaro comes in several doses okay um but for weight loss we use 5 10 or 15 milligrams now as i said earlier um you know you can get nausea vomiting diarrhea so because of that you have to slowly titrate manjaro up so the first dose is 2.5 milligrams after a month you're going to take 5 milligrams after a month well not a month four weeks right because <laughs> you inject it once a week okay so after four weeks you're going to take 7.5 milligrams four weeks after that you're going to take 10 milligrams four weeks after that 12.5 four weeks after that 15. now it's based on tolerability right but when we get into this clinical trial i'll let you know the data that was seen so you can kind of know what's going on but like as a summary the higher dose equals more weight loss because obviously your more hormones more horm more horm more hormones are inside of you I can't even talk okay I I'm just so excited but anyways more hormones are inside of you so obviously the effects of the drug is going to be stronger now that goes for the positive effects and the negative effects right so the lack of appetite like honestly this drug, one of the side effects is low-key anorexia, okay? Like, not even playing around. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, you know, I, it's amazing, but let's get into this data. Okay, so based off the clinical trial, um, there were um, four arms in the trial. It was 5 milligrams, 10 milligrams, 15 milligrams, and placebo. We're going to leave placebo alone because we don't have time for that right now, okay? So with 5 milligrams, there really wasn't that much weight loss. Let's talk about it. So in the 5 milligram um, treatment arm, 85% of people lost 5% of their body weight. 68.5% uh, of people lost 10% of their body weight, 48% um, of people lost 15% of their body weight, and 30% of people lost 20% of their body weight. First of all, first of all, when I lose, when I lose 20%, it's a wrap. Okay, okay, so let's get into 10 milligrams, okay, because I'm just so excited. Okay, so with 10 milligrams... 88.9% of people lost 5% of their body weight. I mean, you could lose 5% of your body weight with just catching COVID low-key, okay? So we not, we're not really interested in that. Okay, 78.1% lost 10% of their weight. 66.6% .6 lost 15% of their weight. And 50.1% lost 20% of their weight. In the 15 milligram do uh, treatment arm, it was kind of similar to the 10. Um, there's really no statistically significant difference between the 10 milligram dose and the 15 milligram dose, but there is a difference. So 90.9% um, lost 5% of their weight, 83.5% of people lost 10% of their weight, 70.6% of people lost 15% of their weight, and 56.7% lost 20% of their weight. Well, hold up, you guys. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, check this, check this, check this, check this. There were some people in the clinical trial who lost over 25% of their body weight. Can you imagine? Hi. Huh. Okay, so in the 5 milligram dose group, 15.3% of people lost 20 over 25%, and then in the 10 milligram, it was 32.3, and in the 15 milligram dose, it was 36.2, compared to placebo, which was 1.5%. Drops mic. My phone literally just fell on the floor. <laughs> like, what? Come on, you guys. Like, it's, it's, to me, it's just like, okay, wow, I could just take this drug and lose weight. Okay. I actually have an example of Mount Jaro with me. I'm going to show you. <sighs> okay, so this is what it looks like. Okay, so it is an injectable medication. And you're going to inject it into yourself sub subcutaneously once a week, okay? So the areas that you can inject it is your stomach, your thigh, the back of your arm. Just, you know, 
subcutaneous areas once a week and then you just have to pray that you don't get nauseous and <laughs> you know control your appetite because at the end of the day it's mind over matter right like most most likely if you're obese it's not because you eat when you're hungry it's because you're eating when you're not hungry <laughs> so i mean this could eliminate your hunger, but are you going to be strong enough to not eat? Because if you think about it, there were people in the clinical trial who were on this dose who didn't lose weight. Like, you read it. I read it to you, right? When did I ever say 100%? Never. Never said 100%. So it's not, it's not magic, but it'll definitely aid in your weight loss if you're serious about it. So yes. So if you're interested in Manjaro and you want to try it, let me know how it goes for you. As for me, as for me, I'm on it. Okay. I'm on it and I'm losing weight. So if you want to follow my weight loss journey, ow, <laughs> if you want to follow my weight loss journey and, you know, see how it does, see how this drug does for me, then go ahead and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.